Rosie, the Riveter Day, so you can, you can do, do it. it. <laughs> and you can celebrate this day at a free festive event at the State Capitol building in downtown Lansing right now. Yeah, and Claudia is actually joining us there to see what all is going on. I see some bandanas we're, we're and her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, some bandanas. Well, how's it going over there, Claude? You guys, it is so much fun. There are so many amazing men and women all over the Capitol lawn right now because it is Rosie the Riveter Day, and we are proving once again that we can do it. And I'm here with lovely Rebecca, who I've just met, and we were talking about why it's so important to be on the front lawn today. So thank you for talking with me, Rebecca. Absolutely. We're excited to be here. Absolutely. And what is your name? I'm Chris Doubting Metz. Oh, hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And CEO of Doubting Industries. Yeah, so what does it mean to be here today? Why are we all gathering out on the lawn today? Well, we got um, we brought 43 of all of our women of Doubting, and um, we rented a charter bus, came here for today, um, just to support the original Rosies and the people that paved the way for us. And, um, you know, the wonderful ladies, I think you got to meet some inside. So it was, um, we're just excited to be here. And we have, a, like I said, a whole, there's so many opportunities in manufacturing. So we're excited. Yeah, absolutely. And like when we think about those women that paved the way, really, in the scheme of things, it wasn't that long ago. Mm -hmm. And some of them are even here today. So if you could tell them anything, what would you tell them? I'm going to tell them thank you. Thank you for allowing us to raise our children in freedom. And because of what the men and women at that generation did, we now live in a free country. And they gave up so much. And several of them talked about what they gave up. And it's just, we're indebted to them forever Yeah. for freedom. Absolutely beautifully said. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to ask one more question, my favorite question. When you hear the words, we can do it, what does that mean to you? Go ahead. We can do it. Yeah. I think like it means. To, yeah. I say. I think it means that that it's endless. We can do anything we want. We can set our minds to it. it doesn't matter, men, women. We're we can we we can do it, and we're empowered. And um, yeah, we're just there's and there's endless opportunities in manufacturing. So yeah. that is why we're here. Absolutely. What does it mean to you? I'd rather hear somebody tell me I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> So that I can prove that we can do it. So I just think the women that are here today and what they're going to say are going to show the obstacles that, I mean, they really paved the way for women in manufacturing. I mean, like Rebecca said, we have 43 of 58 women that work for us that are here today to support it. And you just can't, it just got really emotional in there talking about um, our freedom. Yeah. You know, and what they gave up so we could have freedom. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much both for talking with me. We are about to see some of those rosies come out right on the Capitol steps. Awesome. There's so much going on today, all until 5.30. So if you don't have plans and you'd love to come on down, we'd love to see you. Thank you guys both so much. <laughs> thank you. All right, back to Thanks. you guys.